Welcome, pinball players. But what we're going to do tonight, before we get into the battling, is we're going to... Kevin and I are going to show you guys how to play Pirates of the Caribbean by Jersey Jack Pinball. Um, this Tag is tutorial. version <laughs> .98, so I'm thinking 1.0 is right around the corner, and that will um, add the wizard mode and probably some polish to the games, but I don't anticipate any radical changes in what we'll go over as how to play this game. So uh, perhaps we'll update this, but we wanted to put out a tutorial. Um, we're going to clip it from um, the regular show, so if you're watching the clip, there you go. So it's condensed. So that uh, you guys understand how to play this game because there's a lot going on. I've had this game since uh, October, it's uh, March, or it's April, yeah, April it's whatever, April. 3rd, whatever. Uh, and there's a lot to learn. And Kevin and I will probably get about 90, 85 to 90% of it tonight covered and what's in there. Uh, and then Chad, if you miss something or you have questions, please ask and we'll go through it. So Eric's supposed to stop in too, hopefully. Later. Awesome. Where should we start, Kev? With the uh, skill shots. Start? Skill shots. Do you want to talk about what the objective is first? Yeah, I mean, you can give it the overall goal. All right, so like most pinball machines, there's wizard modes to get to. Um, the ultimate wizard mode is not in this version yet, 0.98. Maybe it is when you watch this in the future. Um, what is the ultimate wizard mode called, Kev? Uh, escape. Oh, I forget. It's not in there yet, though. It's not in there. Let's not worry about it. So you see the other five wizard modes down here. Uh, Curse of the Black Pearl, Dead Man's Chest, At World's End, On Stranger Tide, Dead Men Tell No Tales. All right, these are all the movies in Pirates of the Caribbean. And um, to qualify those wizard modes, you need to play through five of the modes in that movie. And you also need to play that movie's multi-ball. And once you do that, that wizard mode will be ready. And to get to the ultimate wizard mode, uh, you need to play through all five of them, which seems difficult and seems like a lot. Um, some of the reassuring things is that in the game's kind of stock factory settings, what ends up happening is as you progress further through the game, it will start dispersing some extra balls mm -hmm. and do things to select extra balls, and that will go a long ways towards helping you get pretty far. I know when I had a particularly good game, I think I got through like four of the wizard modes, or I, or I had a, yeah. I was on the fourth. One. I've done three. Um, so again, if you're doing this game is is really good with, with extra balls because if you're doing well, you will start getting it through the game. It just doesn't hand it to you kind of willy nilly. Um, so you will be rewarded for good play. So, Kevin su suggested starting with the skill shot. Um, that's as good a place to start as any. We'll also talk about character selection last, even though it's the first thing you do in the game, just because in and of itself there's a lot going on. Um, so there's how many skill shots in the game, Kev? Uh, one, two, three, three. Yeah, there's, there's three skill shots. Yeah. Um, so you've got one, if you plunge it, and on this ramp here, you just drop it down there and it hits the pop bumpers. That's a, uh, <coughs> that's a skill shot. I believe it's worth, what's up? It'll advance your mystery award. It will, it will give you points and it will advance your mystery award. Yep. All right, we'll talk about the mystery award. Might as well talk about it now since we're on the subject. So the mystery award is collected in the scoop. And all these pop bumpers, there's, there's inserts that are color coordinated. There's 10 mystery award levels. There's also another pop bumper here. So as you hit the pop bumpers, they'll change colors. Once they all are the same color, that will move up to the next um, um, mystery ward, one through ten. And you'll know you're at ten because this will, the, um, they'll all be white. That's, that's the ten. The other ones in between, I don't really know. But you'll know you're, you've maxed it out when, when these inserts are white there. Okay, so that's one of the skill shots. Another skill shot is dropping it back behind the ship. That's the one I always go for. You plunge it, you sort of just get it so it just gets right, like it, the ball dies right behind the ship. And what that will do is, it's just pretty important. I mean, it will give you points. I think it's like 2,500 off the top of my head. Sorry if I'm wrong on the points, but you'll get, you'll get the point. About 2,500, and it will also advance your progress towards what you have to do up on the ship to get to multi-ball. Since we're talking about the ship, let's talk about if you're up there any other time during gameplay. When you get up on the ship, you progress the progress by hitting these spinners. That's actually simulating raising the sails. That's step one. That's step one. Mm, that's right. you when you, Thanks, you after go. you get past step one, when you hit the green shots, we'll say load cannon. The stand up targets. Step two, and then you'll actually put it in the scoop back there. And once it's in the scoop, the thing's gonna be moving up and down. And you hit. There's a button down here. We'll show you the button later. There's a button down here, like on all most recent games. 
you hit that and it will fire the cannon and you're trying to fire the cannon from this ship to that ship that ship if you're looking at it it has a hole um, every game is going to be a little different in terms of where the ship is going to be if it's mm -hmm. up down and when you hit fire you'll kind of get the hang of it so you're trying right. to get it in that hole you're trying to get it in that hole so you want you want yeah, i thought you were just trying to hit the ship no nope. if you so if you hit the ship it will make progress towards multiball you got to hit it again and yep. the multiball's lit if you hit it actually in that hole in the ship it will sink the ship all right and multiball will be ready however What's important about the skill shot, where we're talking about the ship and the skill shot, is it starts giving you that progress along the way. Yep. So if on, if, if on all three balls you manage to get skill shot on the ship, then that multi ball is going to be ready right. without having to sink the ship. So that's pretty important to get to that multi ball. And that's, that's the most difficult multi ball to start in the game. So going for that skill shot is, is big. That's true. Um, the skill shot, I think players. most people are going to be Welcome, hitting or sort of going for. Whether on purpose or accident, um, it comes down to preference. Kevin likes a ship. I tend to go for this one. So it comes around, and there's an upper flipper here. And hitting the upper flipper into this map hole will give you 5 million points. 5 million? I'm sorry, 5,000 points. Oh, 5 million. It's like, However, you win the game. if you do a loop, and then you hit it in there, that's another 5 million on so oh, 5,000 on top of that, and so on. So if you're looping it, looping it, and hitting it there, that times how many loops, how many loops times 5,000 is going to be your score. So you can get a lot of points off the bat. There's actually a character that will multiply that even more. Um, what's his name? Will Turner, uh, one of his abilities is he will times your skill shot by five. So five times five just once getting around there is 25,000 off the bat in this game, which is really good. Mm -hmm. If you're doing a lot of loops with him, I think the highest I got was 125,000. So within like the first four seconds, five seconds of this game, I'm starting off with 125,000, which is, is, is huge. Okay, so those are all the skill shots in yep. the game. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Step one. So what should we talk about next, Jeff? Uh, let's start, like, how do you start a mode? What, what are the modes? We do all the characters. We're doing characters last. <laughs> we we'll do the characters last, yeah. Dude, which character is the best? Yeah, we're going to do that last. All right, so good question. How do you start the mode? So... The mode start shot is back here. It says it's in this like little cove, just says, to the right of the chest. Yeah, it says chapter select on it. Makes sense. Uh, the modes are chapters in this game, and the way you do that is you um, you hit the, the respective shots. So on, on the left here, the devil's triangle, that's associated <coughs> when the game started to lit up. That's purple, and Demon Tell No Tales is purple. So if you hit that shot once, it will qualify that chapter up there in terms of being ready to be started. <coughs> All right, if you hit the ramp, that will qualify the um, At World's End chapters to be lit. If you hit this shot right here, it's to the left of the chest, to the right of the flipper, the will shot, um, that will qualify modes for Curse of Black Pearl. And then if you hit the chest, a lot of times you're hitting this, this up the center shot. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of times people are, are in that wizard mode first. The Kraken, um, yeah. It's Dead Man's Chest that will qualify those shots. And then over here, this loop shot from this upper flipper will qualify on Stranger Tides. Um, there's a lot to be said about modes. If you have just one mode selected, let's say you just hit the, uh, the green shot for Dead Man's Chest, and then you hit in the chapter start, well, because you've only qualified one mode, it's going to start that mode, because there's no other modes qualified. However, if you have several of the modes qualified, what happens is there's magnets back there and there's targets. And the magnet will move the ball around and hit the target. So whatever targets hit last when the magnet stops will be the mode that you start. It's actually a really cool way to randomize the mode. It's not just doing it on the screen through software. It's physically picking the mode, which is very cool. Um, there's more stuff to the modes. Let's talk about the value of the modes. So all the modes will start off at 1,000 points. You'll see that, and we'll talk about the, the kind of the, the splash screen when we start a game. But you'll see on that screen, it will show how much modes are worth. It started at 1,000. Let's say I keep on hitting the skull shot, um, the, the dead man's chest, the green shot before starting a mode. That will increase the value of shots in that mode. So you'll, you'll hit that shot a number of times, and you'll look up on the screen, and you'll see maybe it's 1,500, maybe it's 2,000 now. So that means all the shots in that mode are worth those many points when you start that. You can actually hold that value 
by hitting it into the left scoop over here, and it will hold one of the, um, you know, if you, it will hold one of the chapter uh, chapters values for the rest of the game. It's not a shot necessarily I go after. Maybe it's some tough, people yeah. do. It's tough. It's at a weird kind of angle on the flipper, but it's a very cool thing. So you can, as you progress through the game, you might have gotten those moves up to like four thousand. So you almost want to play that mode because those shots are going to be worth more. The way the um, the way the um, modes work is it will play one of like so you the game randomly selects for each movie randomly selects five five chapters from out of movie. 25 out for, of like 20 or 25 yeah. right so this game is different every time you play it which is awesome i mean such good rules um what you do is you're playing a scene in that movie and it will there's there's characters and their names all over this game. You'll see there, um, Jack's right there in the cove. Will's on that shot that we talked about. Gibbs is right there. Where's Marty? <clears throat> Marty's up back there, right? Yeah, there that's is it. Okay, just checking. So let's say you're playing a scene from the movie where Jack's in it, Marty's in it, and Gibbs. They're the, they're the characters during that scene. Those are the shots that will be lit for that. And you're going to hit those shots to get out of the mode. Um, the modes are timed. And after you also hit a character in that mode, um, it will splash some gold on the screen, which you collect by hitting the, uh, the, the um, apron, button. apron button. So that's one way of also getting money. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to say about the, the modes and the characters? Uh, did you talk about how the more modes you have qualified, the more it's multiplied? That's a good one. Why don't you talk about that? So, there is an, so there's a, the disadvantage to starting multiple modes is that you don't, uh, you won't be able to focus on a single like movie to get to that wizard mode But the advantage is the more modes you have qualified the more valuable your, your um, Mode shots will be in that mode whichever one it decides so I think it goes up by half every mode you have qualified So it's one 1. 1.5 if you have two um, Two if you have three etc etc. Yeah, so it kind of offsets that which, yeah. is, which is cool I mean, it's cool that there's a, a rule around that. Mm hmm Okay, so I think we've covered modes. Yep. Let's talk about multi balls, right? There's Jeffrey. Jeffrey, oh, tutorial. What's up, brother? Let's go off. Tutorial. Multi time. balls in this game nice. are associated with uh, again the movie shots. So, Curse of the Black Pearl. We talked about that one. Once that multi ball is ready, you can start it by hitting this left shot up there. This the will shot again will be lit yellow. The solid. The arrow will be lit solidly. Um, Dead man's chest. There's two targets up by the uh, by the chest. And that's qualifying. You hit both targets, then you can lock a ball, and you shoot the chest, it will lo physically lock it, and then you do it again. It's kind of like white water in that sense. Um, at World's End is this shot. And at World's End, you qualify that because there's you're going to see a bunch of arrows on this game. The, the, the large the arrows. Ones. Huge, yeah. large, can't miss them. Um, what you're trying to do is actually light them. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice when the game starts, let's say you hit this ramp, then that arrow will be lit solid red. It also spots you one each each ball yeah. I notice. Mm -hmm. So once you lit all the big red arrows, then at worlds and multi ball will be ready. And that's started by hitting this ramp. <laughs> Hold on. Jeffrey. <laughs> this is a serious tutorial. <laughs> I'm being serious. Alright. On Stranger Tides is hitting this shot a number of times. I think you gotta do one more thing, Kevin. Do you have to shoot up the middle and combo it, or is it just... No, looping? it's just looping it. Okay. It's just looping. Kevin says it's just looping it over and over again, so you're, you're, you're just hitting that shot a ton of times. And, and you'll see the ready. progress on the map. Yeah, we'll talk about the map, and that will also start it when it's, when it's lit. Right. And then finally, the Dead Man Tell No Tales, it's just hitting this spinner shot over and over again. And when that's ready, you hit it all the way back there, and then we'll start that. So, um, we can get into detail about what you do in those wizard modes... Dead Man's Chest, um, I'm sorry, Curse of the Black Pearl, you actually gotta get it up, during multi-ball, you gotta get it up on the ship, and you gotta sink the ship. That's for the Super Jack. For the Super Jack. What's the normal to one, start, just hitting it? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so if you don't sink it, but you, you still gotta fire the cannon and hit the ship. Right. But to start, we, we already talked about how to start that multi-ball. Right. So um, this is the hardest multi-ball, I would say. Yeah, oh yeah. Because during multi-ball, you gotta somehow control the ball, get it up there, get in that hard to hit hole, and then fire and the cannon. And also sink the ship, and not just hit it, yeah. So, <laughs> that's really hard. Um, Dead Man's Chest, you're going to see a number of green shots lit. Those are the ones you want to hit for jackpots. At World End, this was kind of basic. You're just starting off hitting the Whirlpool, 
And then once you hit the whirlpool, um, this bayou shot will light up. And what that is actually, it's a really cool design. You hold up the left flipper here, and there's a hole in the play field. And you gotta try to get into the hole while holding up the, the left flipper. And then rinse, wash, repeat or whatever. Hit up the ramp, do that, and just do it over and over and get in profit. That's a good one for points. Yes. Uh, on Stranger Tide is the same way you started it. Uh, and I think eventually it leads to a super jackpot where it holds the ball back yes. there. So it'll, you'll see like white and blue flashing lights. You can hit it through the chest or the loop and it'll trap it behind the, uh, the stand-up post. And then you have to actually hit the ball as if it's a captive ball and that gives you your super jackpot. Yes. Okay. And then uh, Dementino Tails, is a, it's a rotating shot around the play field. Mm -hmm. And then I think that's a super jackpot hitting that after yep. you hit the rotating shot. We're doing pretty good. We're doing it. We're doing pretty good. This seems almost manageable. What about uh, pirate lanes? Should we talk yeah, about we're those? Yeah, talk about the pirate lanes. So, really cool feature in this game. We're going to rotate the camera a little bit so you guys can see what's going on. You can see this down here. And also you can see Nick's crotch. Maybe. Whoa. 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 Not, Kevin. It's not that kind of stream. Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, I saw it. Whoop. I saw it. There it is. That's the button. <laughs> okay, Kevin's going to get his phone out. There it is. There it is. Button. <laughs> All right, these pirate lanes here. Uh, spells pirate. There's P I R, E T E. What you're doing is you're trying to get them all lit, just like any rollovers, right? You're trying to get them all lit. However, here's the difference about this game. What makes it really cool is you get to select the award that you get once you complete that. Um, the awards are things like uh, bonus multiplier, playfield multiplier. Um, you have gold, which will give you more gold, and we didn't talk about that multi ball. No. Nope. Once you get 50 gold in the game. That will start Tortuga Multi Ball, which is in the scoop. You collect that to start it, and all shots are lit. Um, it will give you add more time to modes, and then as the game goes on, you get some better awards to select. After you after you collect the pirate lane number of times and, and gotten the awards, which by the way, after you spell pirate, you collect the award up here where it says there's a pirate target to the left of the chest. Um, you hit that, and then you'll collect the award. Sometimes you got to spell pirate. Hit that to collect the award, and then if it's like a bonus multiplier, you actually have to hit the bonus multiplier that you want to slot for that. Um, Did you uh, talk about how Nick it, or uh, how Kevin's going to steal all everybody's gold? We will. We will. We'll get there. <laughs> but the pirate rewards get better as after you start collecting them. So things like hold bonus, which is uh, valuable. Um, during multi ball, there's add a ball. Um, you're going to see things like liar's dice, which is a mini game that you can play. Our, our mode is like a, a frenzy. And then, again, if you collect a lot of those, you'll see extra balls on the options. So that's sort of what I'm... After I've collected a bunch of them, I always check, and I've got like the ball cradle to see if extra ball is, is ready. And if you do get extra ball lit, it is this shot over here. It's, it's kind of a cool shot to the right of that scoop. I think we're doing good. We're doing good. I think, we're, uh, I think you guys should have the concept of this game down. Um, There's a lot of intricacy, like you can stack all the multi-balls, you can stack modes so. into multi-balls, you can start one and then the other. Is it time to... Oh, we haven't talked about... I was almost ready to get to the characters, which is another 20 okay. minutes of talking about We would have figured that out when we hit the start button. Uh, yeah. So, but... You know what? We didn't talk about the map. Right? The map nope. awards? Yep. So, up here, underneath the ship, uh, there's three targets. It says map. Uh, when you hit a, when you hit one of the letters, it will start spinning this around, mm -hmm. so you know you've made progress. When you spell map... There's a scoop up there. You hit it in the, um, the scoop, and it will give you an award. It's sort of like a mystery, right? I mean, yeah, it's a mystery award. It's, it's another, it's another mystery award in the game. And there's some really good things there. It might start a chapter. It might award like ten times ten thousand points, and so then you get hundred thousand. It's all over the board. That's also what you hit to um, play a multiplayer game, potentially plunder your opponent's ball or their or score, points or, or gold. their gold or their treasures. Yep. Speaking of treasures, there's, mm -hmm. there's, there's treasures in the game. There's a lot combos. to do in this game. Um, hitting a two-shot combo, um, and they're kind of scattered throughout the play field. We'll show you where to find that. Uh, we'll award a treasure. And once you get, is it 10 or 12 treasures? 12, I think. 12 treasures, and we'll go to uh, treasure... Treasure horde. Horde mode. You start it at the scoop, and when you're in there, you hit combos to build up your value, and then you cash it out. Cash it out there. Yep. Cool. Well, risk reward mode. If this game just didn't have enough, right? It's like this game's version of Crank It Up. You know, kind of. you know, it could have been game of the game of the year for the rules, but nah, you know, nah, nah. Nah. <laughs> doesn't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You All right. Make your Are we ready to talk about the characters? Did we miss anything? 
probably yeah, the, the basic set probably we'll go back and we'll fix it we'll do this project tour about another 20 times throughout our lifetime okay let's start it up we'll talk about characters and we'll, we'll all the, the characters do stream is too dark no that's that's on purpose you only need to see nick yeah i i i found a way to hide everybody else so that's i have fine. the limelight to myself as everybody knows we're not even here <laughs> who? <laughs> where are we i don't know Maybe right, after the tutorial, we'll get some of the light on. Can I stay like this? Yeah. Thank you, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We're going to turn that down a little bit. We're going to go through all the characters. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh. Alright. A lot of these characters are self explanatory, uh -huh. which is nice. We'll maybe see if we can give you a tip or two. Yep. Uh, so, here's the biggest tip I can give you this only sometimes tells you the benefits. The benefits, and it doesn't even show all the benefits sometimes, and I'll, I'll give you an example in a minute. When you get in the game, what you want to do to really learn this is hold down one of the flipper buttons and we'll go through the status screen, and we'll show the character's status, and we'll show you all of his benefits, or her benefits, plus the minuses as well. Yep. Alright, so just understand that this is not necessarily all there is to this character. Okay, so uh, Salazar, if you have a multi-ball, multi-drain, like you're playing multi-ball and they all drain at once, uh, you'll get one back. Yep. Thanks, Gorn. He also, I believe, makes um, Dementano Tales multi ball worth more. I don't think he's a great choice because yeah, that's, I almost a, never pick him. that's a harder multi ball to start. And multi ball multi drains is just something that doesn't happen that often, right? He looks pretty sweet, too. Okay, so Elizabeth Swan, her benefit is that as soon as you start playing, at least three chapters are lit. So you don't get That's hit, cool. Yeah, it's cool. You don't hit to hit the character shots to qualify the chapters. They're just ready. You can go to chapter start. Um, the downside of that is it might be harder to focus on getting one chapter's wizard mode, but it's less shot to get the chapters, and also those chapters are going to be multiplied because three are lit. Yep. So the chapters are always going to be worth more no matter yep. what. So you complete a chapter, you go right <laughs> back into your next one. I, yep. like the, I like her. I don't think she has a downside that I I'm don't think so. Of. Other than being super fucking annoying in the film. I'm sorry. Whoa! I tried to get whoa. Whoa. whoa! There we go. Whoa, easy. We were doing good. <laughs> Will Turner. Off the rails? Will, Will Turner says more combo time. I always like, well, who cares about that, right? Like, I don't focus on combos. It's not a big thing. But here's the funny thing. It doesn't tell you on the screen that his thing is five times a skill shot. So, again, I was I gave you guys a tip about how to get a huge points off the bat. He's actually a pretty good character. Um, another thing that we didn't talk about when we were going through the game is that characters in the game, let's say I pick Will. All right, and then I start a chapter, and Will's one of those characters in the chapter. Well, because I'm that character, I don't have to collect that character's shot, so I'm already awarded his points. Right, Kev? Right. That's right. So, <laughs> Will's in a lot of the chapters. Jack's in, like, most of them. So Jack's a good character because you're automatically getting points when you're playing the modes and you don't have to hit his shot. That's My guy, these rules are amazing. All right. Not the game of the year. Liar's Dice Bonus. Liar's okay. Dice Bonus <laughs> means, with Davy Jones... That you can actually select liar's dice on the um, on the apron pirate kind of selection thing off, off the gate out, out of the gate. It's yeah, one so of the, the first, first options. The first time you pick pirates, you can play liar's dice. Normally, you have to progress more through collecting pirate wards to get that. Uh -huh. um, Jack is Jack's pretty good. Like I said, because he's in most of the um, chapters, you're gonna get points for him when you start a chapter and you don't take his shot. But also, he removes the worst mystery award. So um, a lot of times, mystery awards. You know, we'll get rid of the shitty ones, so you might get a uh, start multi-ball. That's good. It's a good mm -hmm. thing. Yep. You get a lot of mystery rewards, you go in the scoop a lot. That's good. Uh, Weatherby Swan, he's sort of the weakest character in there. You'll never pick him in a single-player game. There's no point to it, because he can't be plundered. That's a multiplayer thing. Yep. So don't worry about him in single play. They, they Hopefully, maybe in uh, future releases, they give him something else to make him a viable option. Um... You know, he also, he cannot be plundered, but he can't plunder either. Right. Which kind of, again, kind of sucks. Like yeah, he, sucks. He should at least be allowed to plunder. So. But he, he, I think Ke Kiefer put him in there for the crybabies who are like, oh, I don't want to be plundered. That's right. He's but like, he's just a, pick one of these smiling and shut he's a crybaby. <laughs> All right, Kevin Blackbeard, go ahead. Blackbeard, he's, uh, he uh, gives you more multi-ball ball saver. So uh, he's great if you want to try to stack up your multi-balls, get multiple multi-balls running at once. Uh, makes it a lot easier to pull that off. All right, good job. Uh, beer break sponsored by CBW. All right, Scrum. He spots one female character per chapter. So if the chapter you're playing has a lady in it, then she's already qualified. You don't have to hit that shot. So whatever, Scrum. It's because he's so dashing. Look yeah, at him. Yeah, look at him. 
Marty! Marty! <laughs> I, I like Marty. <laughs> Let you keep some gold after Tortuga Multiball. We were talking about this, um, Kevin was saying how, how bad he is as a character selection. I didn't pick him for the longest time, but he's one of those characters that actually has another perk when you click on him. He's got a little more to that. I think he accumulates gold faster. Yeah, I think you're right. So it's easier to get to Tortuga. So there, Marty's not as bad as we originally thought. We love Marty. Um, I can also probably be showing where they are in this on the play field. I'll start doing that. You guys figure out the rest on your own. More time for everything, Karina <laughs> Smith. I mean, is that that great? More time for everything? I, I've she never get more, played like, Ezra, I don't think. It's probably it's like more like mode time. More mode time. But yeah. it's just like everything. Pro so. probably, time, time is good. Probably like our frenzy it would give you more time. Yeah. In and ball saver? It says everything. Not ball saver, though. Well, you don't have a ball saver. To, well, multi-ball ball saver. I don't I'm going to argue, by the way. I'm going off the rails. Weatherby should get a, like a five cents second ball save. Yeah. You know, by the oh, ball yeah. rules. Oh, yeah. There you go. Gives him something yeah. for the crybabies. All right. First <laughs> shot's right there, by right the way. Here. <laughs> Uh, Norrington, Kev comes up back to yeah, fan like of James Norrington. Easier chapter rules. Oh, What's interesting about that, let's say you're Norrington. Which, by the way, his shot's right there, too. Let's say you have to, in the chapter, you have to hit, um, Barbosa, which is the left ramp. But, you're James Norrington, and you miss the left ramp, and you're gonna love this guy, Jay. And you hit the stand-up target instead, it will count like you hit the ramp. Oh my god, that's the best rule ever. I know. Jay we, uh, I be Jay. we should get like, a secret code where it puts Jay's face up there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you're saying, well, my god, that's that's awesome. The downside is his chapters are his the shots are worth less than the chapters. The points are like half. Yeah. So you're you're getting less points, but you can kind of progress through the game. Yeah, if you want to see lots of the game, he's a good Yeah. What I do with him is I Try to start a mode and a multi-ball, and once you get the multi-ball, just keep keep hitting the mode shot to keep bringing more modes in. Okay. Spot character, uh, Henry Turner. Henry's right here, because he's in that movie. So, again, smart. Makes sense. integration. Uh, spot character always lit during chapters. So we didn't talk about spot character. That's this shot right here. It's kind of cool. There's a stand-up target there. Right above the eye lane. And um, a lot of times, it actually hits that shot quite often. It does, yeah. So what that does is just like it, it sounds during a, a chapter, uh, you hit that it will qualify one of the, the characters. So it can also help you get through chapters quickly. How do you get spot character lit when you? I don't know when you don't have him. It yeah. just kind of happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. We don't know. All right, Hector Barbosa. Barbosa is on this left ramp. Uh, easier multi-ball rules. He acts like James Norrington in that you're in multi-ball again. If you have to hit the left ramp to get a jackpot. You brick it on like uh, one of the stand-ups, it will count as getting that jackpot. Yep. So you can have a flail fest and jackpot. you're just getting jackpots left and right. That's my kind the of The downside game to that, that <laughs> uh, the jackpots are worth less. Yeah. Spot pirate lanes, Pintel. So if you want to make progress quicker That's through the pirate game. awards, not a bad choice. Yeah. Um, you, get, you can certainly get through <laughs> extra balls quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, by I'll, doing I'll, that. I like playing as him every once in a while. It's kind of fun to. He is this shot right there. You like that skullet? Skullet. You're a skullet. Uh, Bootstrap Bill. He's easier chest rules. He's the center shot up here. So instead of hitting the two targets under the chest, you just have to hit one of them, and then the lock will be lit. He also makes. Uh, it won't say that up there. This is another thing, but through playing the game and checking his his kind of sheet in the in the um, status. He also makes that multi-ball more valuable. So, worthy pick. Uh, Tia Dama. Tia Dama's this shot under the, the bayou. And she's interesting because it doesn't make the chapters random up there. Right. So she's great if you want to get to a certain wizard mode. Um, what you do is, even if you have like all five chapters qualified, you shoot it back there. It doesn't do the ma magnet random thing. You pick what chapter you want to play using the flippers and the action button. So, she's a good choice. Color Beckett. Color Beckett is a, a good thing, especially for, for sometimes noobs. And uh, we didn't even talk about gold. We got a lot to talk yeah, about. Yeah, we gold. did. We talked about it. You collect 50 gold to start the multi ball. Yeah, so gold will appear on the screen during the game. Um, there's some gold targets here. And actually, you can accumulate more gold if you do these loops, loops over again, hit the gold. Tons of gold on the screen. So um, Gibbs will say, Go hold, aha, or whatever. And uh, this, these flashes will go off yellow, gold. So you'll know to collect and you, you hit the action button to collect the gold. Um, interesting thing about the gold is that if you've got like a lot of loops and you hit the gold, there's more gold on the screen. 
and there might be like gold nuggets or gold bars that are worth 10. It will say 10, it will show on the screen, but they're always the last ones you collect, so you want to make sure you get all the gold. What Cutler Beckett does, instead of pounding it like a maniac, um, you just have to hit it once and you collect all the gold on the screen, which is good because sometimes people are going for the gold and they get distracted and, you know, they don't flip. Or they're not collecting gold because they're focused on not draining, so he could be a good choice. Do you know how else you can make gold appear on the screen? You can donate bits. That's right. All right. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Beckett's, uh, Beckett's that, that hole up there, right. apple. Shameless. Uh, Angelica, she spots one male character per chapter. I mean, she's a good choice because there's Spot. gonna be a, at least every chapter is gonna have a dude in it. So it's a very a lot of dudes in this movie. And she's that loop shot. She's associated with that movie. Oh. Oh. Don't mind that here. Spaghetti, spaghetti. Goran took the took the uh, gold bait. Rigetti, uh, he's cool the because Dave, is Dave? the way he Dave works <laughs> is when you get the ball up on the ship. <laughs> All right, easy kids. We're almost there at the finish line. When you get the ball up on the ship, and you hit the action button, it will put another ball into play. You got to hit a switch up there so it knows the ball's up there. Well, it'll put another. So you're, you're in a two-ball multi-ball. During that two-ball multi-ball, though, your scores are halved. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. But it's pretty cool. Talk about theme integration. It does that because when he's on the ship, he loses his eye. Yeah. So smart. Did, did it? Did it win theme integration? No. Nope. No. Nope. Fucking dummies. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna be good. All right. Probably. Easier pearl cotton. So the pearl is up here, and as you progress through the game, um, it's kind of just rocking, sort of calmly right now. It's gonna move a hell of a lot more, and becomes more difficult to control the ball up there. He'll make it. He'll keep it easy, easier. Okay. You Take know, it they, easy. His shots up there. Uh, we're getting a shot. Is um, Going up the ramp. There. Yep. Philip Swift makes it easier to start uh, multi ball four. Multi ball four, what they mean is on Stranger Tides. That's this shot right here. His shot's over there, but that's uh, that shot. So less kind of loops, and you're into that multi ball. A lot of people were picking this during competition because they figured it's an easy way to get to multi ball. But they, I, they've nerfed that a little bit <coughs> since the summer of yeah. That's when people were doing that. And then Gibbs. Gibbs' the shot is right there. Gibbs makes Tortuga more valuable, and what else is he? He does something else, doesn't he? I don't know. That just makes it more valuable? Uh, I forget. You can play as him and we can find out. I'm gonna play as, I'm gonna play as Will. This is really, well, I say quick game. I might, I might just let this drain too. I don't want to go forever, because I want to just kind of talk about the things on the screen. So, I'm gonna hit the action button to pick him. So while the ball's in the shooter lane, let's talk about what's going on in this map up here so you can read this and understand the progress of the game. Because the beauty of the Jersey Jack games is you kind of always know where you are in the game because of the LCD screen, which is fantastic. Um, on the left here is Black Pearl. So it shows the progress. It says spot the ship. That means get on there. Intercept ship, low cannon, light fuse, sink the ship. When you've done all that, multi-ball. This is the chest. Um, starts at... I don't know why it says load chest. Ship started like lock one, load chest, lock one. So you're, you're, you're doing that and then multi ball. This is the nine pieces of eight for the dead man. Um, I'm sorry, for At World's End. Um, you'll see those start to get filled in as you collect the lit arrows. Fountain of Youth, you'll make progress as you hit that loop. And then uh, <coughs> Devil's Triangle, the spin of the spinners will progress the ship there. Um, awesome animation from JP to win. Beautiful. He won. Yeah, they went for that. Likely so, thank you. Pick okay. Marty. <laughs> Too late. Up here on top is your chapters. And you see they all say a thousand. That's how they, that's their base value, because we've not hit any shots yet. These are also closed because no chapters are ready with, with when I selected Will. He doesn't give me that bonus. Uh and you can see the five shots, uh, the five kind of things for the chapters. So that's I say that's pretty much that. Your gold is down here. Yep. Bonus X is right there. So how many balls to go. Now I'm going to hold down the right flipper and we're going to look at the status screen. And it's going to show me what Will's thing. More time for combos. And then 5X skill shot. No negatives. And no negatives. So 5X skill shot is, is huge. It's almost better than uh, more time for combos. The other thing you see <laughs> on the screen are the... There's like cutouts of certain shapes in the corners. Those are your combos for the treasure horn, right? 
Yes, that's right. Yeah. That's correct. Um, and then to understand the treasure hoard, somebody asked this earlier in the day. Um, you can go through here. Here's what you got to do. Left ramp to right ramp is treasure of Cortez. Uh, left ramp to buy is Jack's pistol. I wish it was uh, stood on there longer. I don't yeah. know how to keep it on there. So yeah. that's that's the challenge. But it, it's in there. So you will be able to understand what you need to do to collect those. Um, all right. So I'm going to go for the skill shop. I'm going to try to get the skill shop where I get into the hole there. Yeah. Get it in the hole. Okay. Um, chapter is lit because this one's lit up there. No, you're not going to be able to see it. Because you hit the, uh, the loop. Yeah, because I hit skull. the loop. And you see the progress. There's one line. I've hit it once, so I'm going to hit it again. Chest is ready. Apparently I hit him twice, huh? Okay, so now that chapter's ready because I hit that shot for Dead Men Tell Tales. So I have two chapters ready. You see that highlighted. I'm also making progress towards those multi-balls. Now, the nice thing is I lock the ball and I get another chance at the, his big skill shot. Or I can put it up there in the ship. Yep. Which I, I didn't intend to do, but that's not a bad thing. But look at that, Kev. How much did I get for that? Uh, I know. Twelve and a half? Twelve and a half thousand. Because it's five times is the base value. It's Will's, pretty good. Will's pretty damn good, man. So now on the ship, you want to set the green stand-up targets? Yep. So I've got the sails raised. I gotta load that. Seems easier to lock a ball. I didn't think I'd hit both those things. Okay. Oh shit. Why did it do that? That's weird. It should have put another ball in the shooter lane. There's a timing adjustment you can make to that if you need to. Yeah, I never had that, that thing before. It's, actually, it looks like it didn't lock it. Yeah, it didn't. Okay, so I'm going to try to start a chapter right now. And now it's going to move the ball around because I have uh, three of them ready. And whatever target it hits last, that's going to be it. So we're playing this. Well, there's a mark. The characters in that are just um, Elizabeth and... Who's that? Norrington, I believe. Cutler Beckett. Oh, Cutler. Uh, so you use the map hole and the left ramp, and that's it. You can tell by the two small flashing green arrows on the playfield. Real so, there you go, this one. <coughs> oh. Almost. There we go. There's a bunch of gold on the screen, I picked that, and the mode overall was worth 12,000 12, points. I got, a, I got a bonuses for... Completing it in a certain amount of time, collecting all the characters, etc. Not bad. That will also factor into my bonus at the uh, end of the ball. Right now, to be honest, I'm trying to get control of it because I want to select things on the, um, um, on the, the fire rovers. So, this is ready for me to, when that green arrow's there, that, that light fuse is ready to load the cannon. I guess it's loaded technically. I'm lighting the fuse. Not easy. Not an easy shot. You have any pro tips for that, Kev? Uh, you were doing it right, I think, backhanded. Yeah. Uh, try to drive up on the left and backhanded, just finding the right timing and where, where the ship is like uh, positioned will make it easier or harder. But I did hit those bonus X targets back there, and now my bonus X, because I've hit them a number of times, 2X and 3X are flashing. So if I hit backhand 3X, backhand 3X. All right, this is mystery level four. Light one chapter, okay. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> did you think that was gonna happen? I did not expect that to bounce okay. like that. No, that's a bad bounce. All right. <laughs> Eric's here, he can answer all the questions. All right. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> so he made the call out about nine pieces of whatever and <laughs> That's actually what he says. <laughs> no, I'm laughing at chat. All right. So this this multi ball's ready. That arrow's flashing red. I need to get it up there. You also know the multi ball's ready when it's flashing. It, 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 it's it's chapter's flashing down there. So knowing I'm going to go into multi ball, I like to select light super X because if I complete the pirate lanes and collect it, it will be two X the entire playfield for 30 seconds. It's a pretty good perk. I'm going to try to get the uh, skill shot. One, two. Oh, magnet no. grab it. Stupid magnet. How do they work, Kevin? I don't know. It's a miracle, really. 
<laughs> All right, let's try to start that. Super X is ready. You see that two X? It's ready. So I just had to hit it to to uh, activate it, and I hit it. That was not the intended goal. Let's see. Oh shit. That's when you start freaking out because you're like, oh, I'm wasting all my I know. bonus eggs. Uh, I pre-resolved myself that uh, that perfect setup. I do have another multi bell ready though yep. on Stranger Tides, which I should be able to get off the plunge. Of the, the plunge. Yep. All right, so I boxed the two X, but let's see if I can. Let's see what Eric I. Eric says, ready. lock the chest ball first. Bye. Flight shot X. I like getting my bonus X. I'm, I don't trust myself to uh, do that safely, Eric. <laughs> but Eric's playing his standing. Just listen to Eric, not me. <laughs> he he right. knows a few things about this game. So what we didn't talk about is that things stack in this game like crazy. You can bring in modes. And you should be bringing in modes. Always be moding. Always be moding. Kevin's right. It's like he knows what's going on. Are right, you going to start a mode? We got trapped up. Are we going to start that multi-ball? Maybe someday. Get the counter on the screen for how many misses. Yo, Outworld, what's up, buddy? Here we go. All right, the cannon's loaded. Sunk the ship. Bam. It made a nice little ting. <laughs> so you got that multi-ball qualified, too. Yeah, I do. And a drain. Let's go get Jack. Jeff wrote in chat that he's bored. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, we started that multi ball. <laughs> Nick invited everybody over to watch him talk for an hour. It's good stuff. <laughs> alright, Jeffrey, I'm gonna work on draining because we've seen no, everything. No, you're fine, you're fine. It's alright. <laughs> Jeffrey's bored, guys. <laughs> Tutorial's over. Alright, so that's, that's it. That was, uh, that's all it takes. You did it. About a 45 minute tutorial. Yep. On pirates, I think I think that's that's pretty good. Mercifully, let's cut it short. It's gonna get you on your way. You guys, let's are battle far more on your way. All right, so thanks for thanks for tuning in for that. We're gonna we're gonna battle. Jeff gets to play first. Uh, do you want to get the light on so we can I see everybody? Before Jeff, I said you more of that. Now, what's the record song? What's up? Is it the, what the record says? I gotta play first. We're, we're not doing the pro. James better than me. We're just playing four player games. You just, it's I'm just saying, my eyes are kind of fuzzies? glazed yeah. still over ahead. We got you talking about the skill shots. We can put up our uh, scores, That's though. That's how that went. The cards? Well, do you want to put the score? Nah, like, fuck it. Let's just play. play. Let's just play. All right. Let's swap play, man. What, play pinball for fun? I'm no. keeping the pondering normal settings so you guys can see the normal. Then maybe we can crank it up for and see how abusive it gets. Okay. All right. You get to go first, Jeffrey. You don't have to. You know what? I'm going to pick, um... You get your choice of character that way. There's actually a benefit of going first. Oh, you, you know what? You know what? I'm sorry. I'm going to delay this one more second. We're going to do it to ads. All right, go ahead. I'm going to do an ad. You got this, Jeffrey, too. You want to do the ads? Jeff, do the ads. No, I don't want to do, do it. No, Jay, 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 I just got all the new ones. Is this not a new one? You know that one. Jay, 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 do it. All right, Titan Pinball. Makers of the finest silicone rings for your pinball machines. Yeah, they are. If you're not wrapping your rubbers in Titan, you're not playing pinball. They're not rubbers, but good enough. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so Whatever. So Use code so BUFFALO for 10% off. Uh, tune in. Maybe this weekend I'm going to be installing a full Titan kit on my Terminator 2. Wow, that Ooh. might be more exciting than next 45 minutes of tutorial. <laughs> Did you learn anything? No. You didn't pay attention at all. Uh, after the skill shots, I kind of like zoned out. <laughs> Comet Pinball, makers of... All sorts of fine LEDs for your pinball machines. Get that Jeff incandescent Lyle, trash kills. out of your games and sure. put Comet LEDs in your up. pinball games. Got, got a T2 uh, lighting kit from Comet going in too, so check them out. I believe there. It's also buff, c code I'll Buffalo for kid. something. For some guys. Comet, we did then, Double Danger. Oh my god, all the all the peoples. We did Comet. Yep. Double Danger, makers of fine pinball swag, including Buffalo pinball merch. So, you know, if you want to look like us, get all the uh, Everybody the, the, the men or the ladies, you know, dressed in buffalo pinball swag from Double Danger. Next up is the Mod Couple. They make awesome mods for your games. 
I mean... They make a bunch for pirates. You should get some. You can play a game straight out of the box how it was made. What fun is that? Put some mods on it. Live. Live a little. Real Come hobbyists can install mods. <laughs> Flipping out pinball. Flipping out pinball. They make, they, you, if you want to buy a new pinball machine, buy it from Flipping Out Pinball. Yeah. Pinball distributors. There you go. Go Jer for it. Jersey Jack. Jersey right Jack pinball. I, I think they make a few pinball. I, I don't know what pinball games they make. We, they, oh, they, yeah, they make Pirates of the Caribbean. They make Dial In. I mean, they, do. they make Hobbit. They make Lord of the Rings. No, no. they don't. Oh, they make Jay. Wizard of Oz. Oh, Jay. Wizard of Oz. They make that other movie, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and now they make a special yellow edition of Wizard of Oz. They sure do. Pinball.edu, great pinball charity. Enter their raffle. You I can... just entered the raffle today. So did I. I entered today. You can enter the raffle and not win a pinball machine because I'm going to win it this well, month. Well, actually, the Black Knight is up for... Oh, yeah. It is. You, 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 yeah. It's included. This month. You can win a Black Knight. After that, Buffalo's favorite beer from Community Beer Works. Also the... I'll say it. The official home of is, all Buffalo Pinball's it events. Is. They have 10 pinball machines there. They have great beer. If you're in town, go there. Good food. Pin Stadium, makers of amazing lights for your pinball machines. You got a dark game. What do you Pin use Stadium, to control it? Brighten it up. You can use your phone. You can turn it colors. You can crank up the intensity. Pin Stadium will make it'll make your game look great. Use code Buffalo for ten percent off. After Pin Stadium, we have the Pinball Arcade, makers of. Recreations of all your favorite pinball machines awesome. for your favorite gaming device. There you go, next. Then we have Pinball pinball, pinball Mix. If you don't like the music in your pinball game, uh, chip, 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 change it up. Yeah. And that's it. That's there it. we go. Let's yeah, do this. Oh, we're the Titan. Okay, now we play. Before, oh. we, before we go on. Oh my more. god, we have more. <laughs> oh there you go. Oh my god, we have more. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next Friday, April 12th, for a special stream of the Jersey Jack Pimmel Seminar live from Midwest Gaming Classic, coming to you exclusively right here on Buffalo Pinball. Let's get hyped! All right. All right I'm, wow. I've never seen Kevin so animated. How about that? I'm excited. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. All right. I'm ready.